Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to look at a new syntax for setting up stacking. So, assuming you are not going to use zero touch stacking, which is a different video, uh, this one is as just a new syntax to get it up and running uh, and really for consistency with uh, Campus Fabric. So, let's have a look at that. So, uh, in the past, um, First, we turned on stacking, so that's still the case, right? So stack enable from config. Uh, so it, it actively participates in stacking. Then we drop out of here and we do stack. And if I do a stack question mark here, it, the command used to be stack secure setup. Uh, and then it would lead you through uh, setting that up. So if you try that, now it says that it's a depreciated command and use stack interactive setup. And again, you know, the reason this was done was partly, uh, partly to add new functionality, but really for consistency with campus fabric or, or switch port extender, as you may call it. Um, so that it's exactly the same syntax, uh, when you, when you walk through the menu. So, uh, we'll just do a stack interactive setup. Uh, and then it wants to know, so zero is quit, one is to change stack unit ID, so you've already got an existing stack and you want to renumber them. Um, two is discover and convert new units, um, so that with no startup config, to members. Uh, and three is discover and convert existing new standalone units to members. Uh, and then it notes that two and three can be used to find new links and auto trunk or um, or convert chains to rings, right? So if you've made changes, you know, you've added another cable and you want to turn it into a trunk, um, and you don't want to do that manually, you want to do it automatically, uh, or find new links, or if you had a, a chain that wasn't a complete ring uh, and you wanted it to discover the rest of that ring, then you could run either two or three. But let's do a two and uh, see what we come up with here. So it probes a topology. Uh, so it sends probes out both of the stacking ports that are defined on this device, uh, and we'll see what it comes up with. Okay, so it has found, uh, if I scroll up here, um, so it has discovered uh, two devices out of 3.1, and it's discovered one device out 3.2, right? So this is a, this is a chain um, and uh, so, so that appears correct. So it says, do you want to select this for, for uh, chain zero? So we'll say yes. Um, and then we can, we can give it an ID number, right? So it's going to default to two. You can give it any number you want, but we'll say two and three is fine. Uh, and then the other chain or the other stacking port, um, it's going to number that as number four. So we'll just leave those all as default. There it shows the completed topology, right? So I am unit one here. So 131 connects to 231, uh, 232 connects to um, uh, 331, and then out the other stacking port, 132 connects to 431. Now, in this case, there is no uh, complete, um, there is no cable to complete that chain. Um, and so if we added one, I'm just going to say yes to that and let that do it. But if we added that cable later on, then it's just a matter of plugging that cable in and then going back and running this interactive setup again and choosing number two or three from the menu and it will detect it and find it. Um, so really, I mean, that's it, right? This is pretty straightforward. Um, you know, the beauty of it is you can choose numbers, um, and you can decide how you want that, that chain to look, and you can go back through and uh, without having to manually change the startup configuration, um, you, can, um, you can have it rediscover uh, links as they change or trunks. Uh, so we're just waiting for those other devices to reboot, and then we'll have a look at the uh, completed setup in a second. So we are back after the uh, other switches have reloaded. Um, and if I do a show stack now, here's my completed stack, right? So I have four units in my stack. I'm the unit one active, right? It shows me I'm local here, so I know who I am. Uh, and then I have a standby and two members. 
here's the completed chain again not a ring because there's no cable in place uh, if there if we did want to put a cable in place it's just a matter of plugging it in then rerunning that active uh, interactive set setup and and hitting uh, you know two or three um, so that is uh, that is pretty much ready to go it's it's um, still working on on completing the standby unit but it's basically there and then if we did a show run here we would see that the running config has been set up so I see all my stack units the modules what the stack ports are etc so this was all done um, you know automatically through that interactive setup right so the only thing that was there prior to that was just the stack unit one configuration uh, and the rest was added in from the interactive setup um, okay so that's pretty much it um, pretty simple but you know new syntax to be aware of and, and some new options um, and you know to make it consistent with uh, with campus fabric which is always nice all right so that's it for today I'll see you next time and have a great day